So if you were in East Charlotte, Matthews or Gastonia yesterday afternoon, you probably saw a good deal of police activity. Raids took place in all three locations at businesses, and they're all believed to be tied to separate gambling operations. Queen City News anchor Derek Dellinger has been working to get information confirmed all day on this. He joins us now from Matthews with what he found out. The majority of what we've been able to find out so far comes from the warrants for one of the suspects, which says that there were dozens of machines that were in here. And this was not the only place that was raided. There were only hits Wednesday evening of what all was happening. This business in East Charlotte had its windows busted, its door kicked open, and all reportedly as a result of a bus conducted by law enforcement over possible gambling. But while that was happening, down the road in Matthews and over in Gastonia, similar raids were happening at businesses there. The one in Matthews, though, caught our attention for a number of reasons. Warrants released show that inside City Arcade, there were dozens of gambling machines, 30 video game machines, six fish tables, and another 30 sweepstakes video games. The warrants list the charges for Nina Nashar, who faces around 80 total charges. She was arrested Wednesday evening at her home in Gastonia, along with three others. While we don't have warrants for them, they are all facing a very similar list of charges. Neighbors say what happened at Nashar's home was like a scene out of a movie, SWAT teams showing up and roads being blocked off. All the incidents involved a multi-agency response in the presence of ALE officers. Alcohol law enforcement was also over lottery laws in this state, and they have been listed as the agency making the arrests. We're working to get the warrants for the others that were arrested to find out more information about what happened with this case as well as the others. We've reached out to ALE as well as the SBI and the other local law enforcement agencies that were involved to see if they have any comment. We will let you know when we hear back. In Matthews, Derek Dellinger, Queen City News.